Hello, hello. Hi guys. Happy Monday. Trust that everyone is good. Trust everyone had a great week, a restful weekend. Um, trust everyone is safe. Your family members are safe. Numbers are going up. So I'm hoping that we are all doing what is necessary to keep ourselves safe and healthy. Um, I'm in a different room today because my neighbors decided that they were going to see how loud their music could be. So the room that I usually do it in. Uh, it's quite noisy here. Um, I'm sure you could still hear some Tupac um, in the background. I'm hoping that the music that I would have put on as background music <laughs> muffles that. I'm not here with my Bible. Um, I just really wanted to share um, an experience that I had this week. So my friend and I, we went to pick Bodhi. And, um, you know, just in coming back, while we picking, we were talking, while we were coming back, because we went to do a delivery, we was just, you know, talking, sharing different things. Um, and she was sharing different things about parenting and so on and I was just, you know, just there I was listening, taking it in, assessing myself as a parent, um, assess, assessing um, things that I want to change while she was talking, just mentally taking the nuggets and um, just bucket, bucketing them, um, bagging them to use, to use for future. And I remember coming home and thinking to myself, it is so, so, at all the words, <laughs> according to her, so important for us to make sure that the, not only that we have impact, because we still, we still don't worry, don't worry, we still impact and influence growth, mental and emotional self-care. But as I was saying, it is so important that we not only be good influence and have positive impact on individuals but that the people that surround us have a good influence on our lives a good impact on our lives um that they are growing so that they force you or they challenge you to grow in different aspects of your life and that they cause you to check <laughs> to check where um Things that you may have experienced emotionally, um, just to check and make sure that those bad, bad ones, bad things that you may have experienced, traumatic things that you would have experienced that you wish never happened to you, that you don't know in the present, be the person inflicting those same negative traumatic experience on somebody else, your children, your friend, your, your co-worker, you know, things that you would have experienced. Somebody said something that was awful, that destroyed your self-esteem, that you know, you, 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 you had to put yourself together again after they would have said that, they, that what they would have said. You don't now become that person saying things to other people where they have to now come and scrape themselves back together again to put themselves back together again after something you would have said. So, um, I want to encourage us today to one, be mindful, I know we're going back to mindfulness, um, to be mindful about who you allow your influences to be, who influences your life, who speaks into your life, who encourages you, what those encouragements are and encouraging you and what. Um, who are the people that you follow? You know, um, social media is all about following and followers and who you following and who they following and, and how much followers you have. And, you know, it's all about followers. Um, make sure that the people that you following are impacting your life in a positive way, forcing you and challenging you to be a better individual. Um, because that will impact your impact and your influence because those things will rub off on you whatever you whoever if you're following somebody negative or you have you, 
you have as a mentor somebody that is horrible like their approach to life the way they handle situations it's just it's just bad and that's who that's your mentor that's who you follow and that's who you glean in from that's who you take an example from and you are going to be that horrible bad person to somebody else you're going to pass on that same mentorship style that same leadership qualities that's that's what you're going to regurgitate on somebody else's life impacting them in a positive or negative way so i just want to encourage us today that we be mindful um i don't have very very much close friends <laughs> like in my in my immediate like so it have different circles it have yeah, yeah in a circle then it have this ring here then it have this bigger ring here and then it have all the other people just outside or all the circles you see that small that small circle um the numbers there are few 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 for me <laughs> for me lord knows that's that's probably all i could probably handle <laughs> Or oh, that's probably the limited amount of people that could handle me. I don't know. <laughs> it's a small amount. Um, and I I am so picky. So picky. Uh it's like COVID. I, I sanitize my space. I sanitize my space and I, I ensure that, that the area that I have to breathe air in is clean, non-contagious. <laughs> And, and not, you know, not a space that will damage me emotionally, mentally, but it is a space where you're, just, you're forced, is that like you're actually forced to level up. Um, they will tell you, you know, this land now, come down from there. They will tell you when to come down from there. And they will also tell you, come up from there. That's beneath your level. That's beneath your standard. That's beneath um where i think your life is headed you want them kind of people you want them kind of people and um my my um uh, encouragement is that you surround yourself you surround yourself with the right influences so that you could in turn have the right influence and impact on others um Paul had people that he impacted, he influenced, and who would have influenced him. Jesus had people, you know, he had a Peter J. He always had that small crew that he will separate himself with this, these three fellas. Like, choose your circle wisely. It is so important. I'm telling you. Um, and to her, it might, she was just talking, you know, honest to God, it wasn't. I didn't ask no question. We were just talking, and you know, we were just talking about different things. But as what we was talking about, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing. It what? Listen, <laughs> like I just don't have time. Maybe that's that's part of the issue. <laughs> like I just don't have time for frivolous, uh, unimportant, non-making sense. If that's a word, um. Things that don't add no value to my life. I just don't have time for it. I don't have time for those kind of conversations. I don't have time for those kind of gatherings. This is just like empty small talk. Listen to me. Don't in my like I just just need to don't waste my time. My time is so precious and so valuable to me. Like I just make sure, I just make sure that when I <laughs> actually give my time to something that it is time well spent because i can't get that back so i'm advising you that the people that you spend time with the people that you surround yourself with the the things that you listen to um sometimes you see people listening or they quote and something it's like why 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 does that quote you memorize why 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 what, what, what about that make sense <laughs> make it make sense like make sure the things that you're adopting from people and the, 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 the mannerisms that you're probably picking up, the things that you you um you now want to adopt as habits of yours, make sure that it making sense. Make sure that it making sense, make sure that it puts you on a trajectory that leads to growth development. Um, uh, um just a, a, a better version of yourself, a uh, a uh, uh, a new Melina De Silva 2.0 <laughs> or 2.1, like a new and improved version, new edition. It must just make this version of yourself obsolete because now you're this pursuing this 
ensuring that you're this and in every area of your life, in your workplace, in your business as a Christian, you're making sure that you surround yourself with people that will encourage you to walk worthy of the vocation where it you have been called, that you're making sure that you associate with self with people that will in, in, ensure that you come up to the standard that they see, the potential that they see in you, that that, come, that comes, that manifests before their eyes as a, as, a, as a reality of, this is how I see this person. You know, sometimes people will say that, and, uh, she had so much potential, but I don't know, nah? that girl and live up to her full potential. Let that not be you. So make sure that you surround yourself with people that will, that will force all, squeeze all of the potential out of you. And, and, and don't be afraid, don't be afraid because <laughs> it's uncomfortable, it's not necessarily a comfortable thing because sometimes you realize that you know what, this, this, um, this, this bunch that I'm lying in with here are not really serving me, you know, they are not, they're not serving me. And you might, you might take real flack for that, you might take real legs for that. They might have the world I think to see. By the end of the day, take the legs and level up, please. Wherever, wherever, wherever is dished out to you because you decided, you know what? I feel there's more. I feel like there is more. There's more. And I'm going to get. <laughs> I'm not sure where it is exactly, but I'm going to it. And decide. Decide and if it requires you to be lonely for a period, trust me, on that lonely journey, you will pass some body or bodies that might look like they're heading in the same direction that you could probably, just like my friend and I, hold on a little small talk with and realize, you know what, but I can, like I could lie with you. So I'm telling you, it may not be comfortable. It may be, it might feel a little lonely for a period. It might feel painful for a period because sometimes letting go of what you're accustomed to, letting go of what may seem comfortable because I've known for a long time. That's my friend for so long. Yeah. And like what our friendship had to show for it. Like what, what you getting out of it? Is there growth? Is there any you know so my encouragement for us this week is to just do some assessments of like every area every just check everything and 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 the focus this time is to just make sure that you are influenced correctly you are influenced correctly i tell you that one little conversation like i just you know, like immediately you start to think about, okay, I could do this better. And I could, yeah, I could do that better. And I could do, I need to work on so and so. I'm not saying you ain't gonna talk shippiness or all you ain't gonna just talk about normal things and that every conversation had to be heavy. It really wasn't. Um, and then we went and picked Bodhi. I said, Bodhi, <laughs> string beans. <laughs> That's, that's what our day started off as, so it was nothing heavy. It was a light picking of beans in the hot sun that turned into, wow, I need to check myself. And so I don't always, don't think that Melina sending it to be, oh God, there's real heaviness and she's so serious, eh? No, I'm not saying that, enjoy your life, enjoy all of it. Live bold, live well, live your best life. Live it, but live it to, it's full potential in every area. If you're enjoying life, enjoy it to the max. If you're, if you're, you're um, pursuing things, pursue it with your whole heart. And if you're pursuing growth and impact and influence, I am just saying on this side here, pursue that hard. Pursue that and make sure that every, that you're, you're doing the needful to make sure that your impact and your influence is to the, the greatest degree that it could be. Um, because sometimes they need somebody that, that might be able to, without they even knowing, or directly or indirectly highlight, hey, you can do this better. Hey, you can do that better. Hey, you need to improve here. And they may not even know. They may not even know that they're even doing that. But you know what they're doing without they knowing that they're doing what they're doing. So I just want to encourage us. Um... Just this little thought, just a little thought I just really want to share today. Check, 
check your influencers check who's influencing you check to see who you have as a, a mentor and a hero or idol in your eye not an idol as in your worship any person but as something that you want to attain or um a place of maturity you want to get to make sure that they're mature for real for real for real and it's not just in your mind and you thinking that they're so up there but like in the grand scheme of things you could do better <laughs> um so yeah and this is not anything prideful or anything like that so whoever listening with the wrong thought to think well Melina I'll get me shy she said she really thinks she's something with she ain't. it's not that it's just just assessing how you know when you're clean you go to clean a room and you realize wait now but I didn't wipe under there now why look how much dust and collect no, we just dust in areas that we didn't probably didn't think about it's just dust in your you, you we want to do a thorough cleaning thorough a thorough thorough cleaning of areas that we may not be aware of that needed dusting because trust me if you pass in the broom where thing you ain't gonna sweep below the couch unless you move the couch you know and so just move around the furniture a little bit there's just what i there's just what i am and it might make noise the chair moving the chair might make noise it might shift the rug a little bit and it might yeah cause some discomfort but if at the end of the day it causes you to have a better impact and influence on the lives of those who you come into contact with it causes you to grow it causes you to make sure that your emotional emotional damage <laughs> that you would have experienced is not reproduced by you on somebody else. If moving around the furniture causes you to check those things or to make sure those things don't happen, then please, I beg you. Move around the furniture, move the love seat and put it across there, bring this table here, move the lamp, change a picture or two, and uh, change the bulb so that you can have brighter light in the room. I just saying, um, we check in every area because we want to have impact and influence and not just for now no, for long after we'd have, we would have left here somebody would have been able to say boy I remember when Melina used to post videos that girl used to do so and so that girl used to challenge me so and so you know I talked to this person once I can't, I didn't remember us having a conversation after that but that one time I met Sarah, that one time I met Kelsey, or that one time I met Ali, that girl had such an impact on my life that has stayed with me up to this day. You wanted to, to, to have staying power long after the moment. So to do that, in order to do that, in order to do that, it requires us. It requires us to sometimes make difficult decisions in terms of how we set our boundaries. It requires us to assess and to get rid of things, get rid of things. Christmas time, we do so much of cleaning and um, sometimes when you check the garbage disposal, November, December, you're trying to figure out where all this rubbish was. But it's because you decided, you know what, I'm going to clean and clean for real. I am just encouraging us to do the needful, um, to not be afraid of, ups, of upsetting, capsizing, throwing up the apple cart. If at the end of the day, it makes you a better individual, a better believer, a better mother, a better wife, a better single person, a better business owner, a better employee, a better employer. If turning up things in your life, cleaning, dusting down areas that you ain't touching a while, going back to situations that you would have just put on the back burner because you know what, I really don't want to deal with that, but you went back and you check it, and you wash the pot, and you, you scrub the bottom of the pot and thing, just so that, you know what, I cleaning and I cleaning for real, so that when God decides, that I need a vessel that I could use, he could come and find, hey, look this utensil, clean and ready to be used. You ain't gonna put food on a dirty pot. You will not serve anybody with on a plate that you just eaten. No, you will take a clean plate, a clean spoon, a clean fork, make sure the food to serve. 
and that's who we are vessels so make sure clean the necessary areas dust out wipe down check 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 <laughs> like a dj checking on a microphone to make sure it's working check 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 to make sure that you're functioning that you're working that you can be used to do the tasks that god may have set out for you to do so i just want to encourage us like i said i didn't have a verse today um maybe you can share any comments Melina. this verse will go with what you just said today um but i really just wanted to talk to us today based on our talk session my friend and i would have shared um so yeah let's clean now let's clean and wipe down and dust out and put in the sun to sun out <laughs> um so that we could be better vessels clean useful uh usable usable vessels so guys have a great week uh, let's be intentional let's be mindful and let's prepare ourselves to be used so i'm just saying let's just prepare so that when god decides hey i need somebody to touch this life today you play it clean and so he could serve whatever he needs to distribute to that person on a clean in a clean vessel that's it all that's it y'all that's it that's it have a great week um remember to stay safe sanitize social distance wear your mask wear your mask wear your mask wash your hands wash your hands please wash your hands remind the kids to wash their hands to always wear their masks to to make sure to listen and to if you find somebody coughing too much or they they sniffling a little too much it could be allergies or it could be something else and so uh, on the side of caution and just maintain a distance so y'all have a great week be safe Prepare, 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 prepare. Choose your influence. Choose the people that impact you. Choose them wisely. Right?